Shalom Divine, how are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And um, if you're seeking abundance through work, this channel is for you. So um, I wanted to I wanted to talk about by the title you already know time, right? I want to talk about it literally and figuratively. So we know we're in this illusion and we agreed to play these games. We agreed to this. So because we agreed to it, I'm not delusional. I know that there's things happening in the world. You know, there's a lot of people out there in La La Land that um, actually, okay, that can talk the talk. I, I won't stay there in La La Land. But they're not addressing the things that are happening in the world. And I understand why, right? Because the other video I told you, the world is not coming to an end. For some people, it's not coming to an end. For others, it is coming to an end. You know, it's duality. It is what it is on this planet, and we have to live by it. But there are two separate collective consciousness that lives on this so-called planet. So, you know, I'm not delusional about the world not coming to an end. We are in these times here. Let me let's let's look at the let's look at three. Let's look at the physical, the mental and the spiritual of time. Right. That's what I that's what was on my mind today. So. With and, you know, I've got I always have notes. So with the, the physical, what we're seeing out there in the world, we are seeing in the matrix in Maya, we are seeing murder, pedophilia. We're seeing uh, tons of destruction. We're seeing Mother Gaia destroying the earth, killing animals, killing parasites, anything that gets in her way, she's doing away with it, right? And that's anybody that is not right. Anybody that hasn't done work on themselves to keep up with her, she's doing away with them. And this is what we're seeing out there. The propaganda, the race wars, they're going to, that's going to take place. This is why that little boy with the monkey on his shirt, this is why that was with um, H&M. People got so upset about that stuff. You know, I would have gotten angry too, but I know the game. And if you know the game, then why get angry? Do you know what I'm saying? So don't feed into it. It makes no sense because you know the game. But those that feed into it, they're giving their energy away, and they're also going to prepare themselves for what else is about to take place, which is martial law. Martial law has always been in effect, but you're going to see it physically now. They're going to make it known. Doors are going to be locked. Guns are going to be pulled. You know, all that stuff. You know what I want to know? With everybody knowing what's going on with the world, what are, you, what are your plans? As I talk... As you listen to me, please type, you know, the ones that are hearing my voice. Talk. I want to hear what your plans are. What are people talking about out there? If they know all this destruction is coming and they know the end times are here, what are they doing about it? I'd like to seriously know. Like, what are some Christians doing? What are some Muslims doing? What are, what are, what are people doing? What are the preppers doing? What are they doing? What are they going to do about it? What are they going to do about the mark of the beast? I, I like to hear that from you. What are you going to do about it? That's what I really like to hear. Okay, so we talked about the physical. We can see the physical destruction. Now let's talk about the mental, how this time is an illusion, how it's fake, how it's changing drastically, right? Let's talk about the mental. What they're doing is they have you fixated on time. It, you're, you're programmed to run by a schedule. And because you're programmed, you're, all you're doing is thinking about the days, the months, the weeks, the days, the weeks, the months, the years, the decades, time, minutes, seconds, hours. You're celebrating and you, you are keeping yourself in the illusion by willingly 
celebrating holidays, birthdays, New Year's, Martin Luther King Day, anything with that repeats itself over and over again is insanity, right? But you're in this cycle of vicious cycle of repeat. You're under a spell when you constantly repeat this stuff, keeping you sleep. So you can't evolve. That's what people don't realize. There's spells out there. When you do things repetitive, when you're told to do something in a repeat fashion, it's a ritual known as a spell. And that's what they have us under. That's what they have others under. Not, not us. So this is what I wanted to show you. You know, time is speeding and we feel that and we see that days are getting shorter. The sun and the moon are out at the same time. That never took place. That never took place. But it's here. And I want to show you something. I want to show you, remember how to count time? Let's remember, there's probably several ways to count time, but some of the ways that I remember to count time is like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, then one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, right? And if anybody else know any other ways that they used to, teach their babies to count to allow the nanoseconds to go by before you get to another second, let me know. But I want to show you this. Look. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have started that just yet. Okay, so here's my stopwatch, right? One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, Three, I'm going to speed it up. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Do you see that was like 30 seconds? And I know I didn't count 30 seconds. Does that make sense to you? I know I didn't count 30 seconds, and I know I was going faster. So it's actually one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Anyway, when I, listen, you guys try it, and you you see how it works. You try them because as I look at it, I shouldn't have been looking at it, but count, have somebody hold it, and then you count. You do the count. Don't look at the time because all you're doing is you're programmed to speed it up and say it at the wrong time. But trust me, when you get the cadence, the cadence right, you're going to see that time is flying and it's different. It's not the same. It's not the way it used to be. And that's not a coincidence. Things are changing drastically. Now that was the mental, because they keep you in a mental cycle of repeat, right? With all the programs of uh, celebrating every year something, death, birthdays, all that. Martin Luther, yeah, I said Martin Luther King Day, all that stuff to keep you sleep. Anyway, so let's talk about the spiritual. Let's talk about this spiritual. So with a lot of um, people that are conscious and awake, they know about the illusion. And they're not going to suffer. They're not going to be a part of that world. But it takes work to get there. In their world, and my world, because I like to look at it that way, we don't think about time. 
and I've been there where time didn't exist. Now I'm in a place where I feel that time is speeding up. But when you've worked on yourself, you can really see that time is an illusion because it doesn't exist. You can make the sun come up. You can make the sun go down when you want to. I know that sounds crazy, but you can do it. I've experienced this several times when I was in Mexico. So I can only talk about what I experienced. But this is how you know that things are different. There's two different worlds out there that people are living in. But if you do the work, you'll miss the world that you don't want to be a part of. You'll miss all that chaos because you've done the work. But I just wanted to tell you one of the ways you can tell that the work has been done is by not by coming to that zero point that I spoke of last time and not feeling time or manipulating time. It's easy to manipulate time. But I just wanted you guys to ponder on that. I want you guys to think about that. Those individuals that are on this journey with me. We're going to miss the chaos and destruction. If you're watching these videos, that means you are awake. You are awakened. And we'll talk, I'll, I want to talk about that too. But... You know the work that you have to do in order to miss the destruction. Because in my world, the world is not coming to an end. I am going to, and you are, going to have a blissful life. Once we understand these concepts and understand what's going on out here, we apply what we learn to our life to get out of here. To live in abundance. And be blissful and happy. Because there are those that want to stay and we're going to allow them to do that because they came here just for that. But the individuals that are reaching for knowledge and that knows that destruction is coming soon, the end times is real, Depop depopulation is real, revelations is real, it is real toward a particular group of people, not for you. All right, please let's talk about this if you guys have any um things that uh you want to talk about pertaining to this subject let's talk about it let's talk about it i really want to know what people are doing out there what are they doing do they think they're going to live in a bunker or something do they think that they're going to i mean you know like let's say hypothetically speaking you did you do get caught up in the shit and the shit hits the fan what are your plans? Let me know. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blissful day.